Hey everyone, it's Mike here from the SEO Pub, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Screaming Frog to find specific cases of anchor text that you're looking for to create internal links. So maybe you created a new piece of content, and now you want to go back through your site and find all the cases of a certain anchor text that you can use to link back to this new piece of content. Before I do that though, make sure you head over to the SEO Pub and sign up for the newsletter there where I send out tips like this every single week. You can also click on the link at the top and join our free Slack community where we chat about SEO and other online marketing topics in there. It's free to join. And if you're interested in learning how I can help your website increase its search visibility, head over to Click Consulting and request a proposal there. So let's go ahead and dive into this. and for this example i'm going to use clickup and i'm going to just use their blog um, what we want to do is we're going to crawl just their blog looking for uh, uh, opportunities for internal links so let's pretend that i created i'm writing a new post about agile project management and what i want to do now is i want to go through the blog and look for mentions of agile project management that i can use as anchor text to link back to this new post so I'm going to just put in clickup.com slash blog. Uh, I want to crawl instead of the whole domain. Uh, we want to do the subfolder. And we're going to go to configuration. And under custom, go to custom search. And we're going to add a new custom search. And what we're looking for is anything that contains, we're going to use text. You can do a regex expression, but this is a really simple example. We're just going to use text. And we want to look for agile project management and I'm actually going to add a second search where we're going to look for agile projects so any mentions of agile projects I'm also going to link, use that anchor text to link to this post um, and over here you have a drop down menu where you can select where you want to look for that text that you're searching for I'm just going to do the entire HTML but you could try to narrow it down um, using one of these other options. I'm just gonna use the, the entire HTML for this example. If you're familiar with XPaths and how they work, if you wanna search a site for in a specific area of the site or specific occurrence in the site, you can use the XPath. I'm not gonna go into that, how you do that in this video. Um, we're just gonna look through the entire HTML. And I'm gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna start the crawl. I'm gonna stop the crawl here just to save time. Normally I would go through the entire crawl and crawl the entire blog, but um, just to save time, I'm gonna stop it where it is just to show you what this does. So once the crawl's finished, you'll have your list of URLs like you normally would here, but we're gonna to go to, click the little drop down button and we're gonna to go to custom search. And this is gonna show you the search results and you have a filter over here you can use. So if you wanna use just the one that, um, look for just the URLs that had the first search you did, or just the URLs that had the second search, you can do that. I'm just gonna look at all here, and you can sort over here, and it shows the pages. So for example, um, this blog about Scrum Team had 14 occurrences of Agile Project Management. Over here, um, we have this article about Excel Project Management, had one case where it, it said, uh, it mentioned Agile projects. And we can go take a look at that. There you go. So Agile projects. So if I wanted to then, I could go in and edit this post now, use that as anchor text to link back to the new post that I'm publishing. And it had, I think, several mentions of Agile project management right there. And in this case, it already has something that it's linking to. Um, but there are other cases of that if I wanted to use those. So that's a really easy way that you can use Screaming Frog to search for specific anchor text that you want to use for internal links to new content you're producing. Or maybe there's content that you have already have and you're just looking to give it a boost. I know a lot of people will, instead of doing that, they go to um, Google and they'll search, they'll do it in URL search and then they'll do agile project management like this. And that does work. It's okay. 
Um, there's nothing wrong with doing it this way. But what I like about this is now I can take search one and I can export this into a spreadsheet and I can hand it off to whoever needs to work on it. It's a lot easier working off a, a list like that with a spreadsheet versus telling them to go do this search and, and work off of, of these. And this may miss some. There's no guarantee that they're all gonna show up inside a Google search like this. Where a screaming frog, you're gonna get a, a full crawl of your, your blog and find all the occurrences there. But the main reason that I do it in Screaming Frog is because I can export these into a spreadsheet and then quickly hand it off to whoever needs to work on it. So that's it for this video. Again, if you haven't already, head over to the seopub.com, sign up for the newsletter there, and I'll catch everyone in the next one.